Well, hello and welcome to all of our viewers and our delegates here today. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and one of the MCs here at Gold Learning. And today we're talking all about our Gold Midwifery Online Conference. You'll be able to catch all the latest details, of course, at our website, goldmidwifery.com. That's super easy. You'll be able to go there and register for this conference right now. So bookmark it so you can get it on, get in all the details. But but today, here we are sitting down with our special guest. We've got Leonie Rastas is here with us today. So Leonie, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves uh, and tell us a little bit about where you are in the world. Well, thank you, Fiona, for that introduction. Yes, I'm um, from Queensland in Australia, and I've been a nurse and midwife for over 40 years. And in the last couple of years, I've um, finished with clinical practice and I'm working on childbirth education specifically for women who are having scheduled caesarean birth and also emergency. So just to uh, em equip and empower them with knowledge about their recovery process and um, uh, to with both digital courses and also ebook. I have an ebook and I have uh, am in the process of writing a manual, a three part manual with a colleague from the UK. So my passion is about uh, helping women uh, overcome fear and, and to really um, approach their recovery period with a lot of uh, confidence, knowledge and skill. And I think my, I have a, a soft spot for women who have caesarean births, having had six caesareans myself. So I just, um, the empathy that I have for those mm. women is really driving me to, um, to this end of my career to be um, giving back and, and wow. sharing a legacy. That is amazing. Boy, I, I did not know that of you, Leonie, that, I mean, you are, it sounds like you're in the best place possible. And as I was reading through all of your bio today and all the information that I have from you, and you were, of course, sharing earlier with us, um, you know, I realized the passion that you have. I realized some of the things that you've been working on for some time. Um, and I also thought about the many women that I've worked with over the years that you know, either planned cesarean birth or, you know, uh, emergent or urgent cesarean birth. And, you know, I just don't think enough information has ever been taught about the body, first of all. Um, you talk a, briefly a little bit about the layers. Um, I mean, there's so many details. I think, you know, women really need to know more about it. And this is not about fear. This is about education, which I loved what you said about, you know, prenatal education, childbirth education. We all need to know these things, whether you're working with uh, women or if you're the woman yourself. So I'm really excited to hear more. Um, but I know you're working on a lot of little projects as well. Perhaps they're big projects. Projects. And I know you've got some things to actually show us here today, which I'm so excited about. And you mentioned a couple of them, but I know you've got some other things. So why don't you take the floor again and just show us some of the things that you have been working on um, in order to provide even better care for our families. Okay, well, thank you, Fiona. I think um, just going back a little bit, I have found, um, you know, myself really frustrated at the um, the lack of knowledge, as you say, that's out there and education. Mm -hmm. And I actually taught childbirth education uh, for some years and there was little, we were, we were really um, told to stick to the script and not spend mm -hmm. too much time on C-section because that was, you know, not the outcome that sure. we had. You know. And so they, the women were really missing out. Mm -hmm. And then when I would work in postnatal, often I would be assigned C-section patients and when I'd go in and find that they didn't have a, a, a rolled up towel or a cushion to hold against their wounds, it would just drive me crazy. And so the, one of the first thing I, I would always do at the beginning of shift was rush around, 
check out who didn't have um, any wound support and then I'd, I'd be in the um, utility room making up rolled up towels and uh, there was one particular day uh, I was making one for a woman and her husband was watching me curiously and mm -hmm. he said what are you doing and I said well <laughs> I'm just making a rolled up towel to, you know, sweep the wound because I know it's really important. And he said, um, haven't you got anything dedicated for this in this day and age? This was 2018. And I was embarrassed to say, no, I've been doing this for 40 years because that's all I know. Right. And, uh, so then I, I've, I'm quite a creative. I love, I've, you know, made all the kids, um, dress ups for, for school and things. I love mm -hmm. fiddling around. So I went home and it took me about five months. Firstly, I started looking for this dedicated splint this dad was talking about. Nowhere could I find anything mm -hmm. um, at all. Um, the closest thing would be the abdominal binders, but right. you know they have problems. So yes. um, I, I set about, and it, and it took me quite a few tries, but I came up with a splint that mm -hmm. simulates a rolled up towel. And this is the very first model. One of my sons is an artist and he designed the um, the figures, you know, to wow. show you how to use it. Sure. So, um, and I, I got some feedback from the women that it needed softening. So I have sold out of the, the the latest model but this is it this has got a little bit of softening this one mm -hmm. and I called it the sac splint the surgical aftercare splint oh great I really enjoyed because I went to a school that the um, abbreviation was sac sac I went to sac recur and we used to call it sac and I thought <laughs> oh <laughs> so anyway <laughs> that was my um little um invention and and the women who've used them absolutely love them and i've now um moved on to a wearable one so i've added an elastic belt right with a button, and so they can wear it around so they're hands free with the mm. baby and yes. it's there if they have to cough or sneeze or right or laugh that's that was my biggest problem laughter i couldn't mm -hmm. you know laugh in, in peace so that was that and then um i i those wretched ted stockings that everyone has problems getting on i thought about that for a long time did a bit of research and then i came up with what i call the stocking mate so it's just basically a triangle mm -hmm. and the foot foot goes in there the sock with the hole in the toe goes over there and down up the leg and then that pulls out oh so that, yes i know exactly what you mean now yes yeah. oh isn't so, that snazzy yeah a lot of my friends carry they fold up to the size of a, a coin and a lot of my friends have them in their pockets and they wash they could wash them with the uniform <laughs> amazing so, that's fantastic uh leone boy you you certainly come to gold with a lot of experience i have to say and very thoughtful as well i know these tools um that you've created um have been based on your own personal experience but just the experience that you have with the families that you've worked with and thanks to that dad giving you a nudge uh, in the right direction. I and I know that you have your ebook and your book that your manuscript yeah. that you're working on. So give okay. that a quick show as well before we wrap things up here. So this is a little ebook, 28 pages. And in the back, there's a birth plan, a cesarean birth plan as well. Um, but that's just wom woman centered cesarean care. So that's giving you know, just a brief overview of what to expect because it really worries me that women are going home so soon now and they right. have very little. If they're lucky, they might get an A4 page telling them to take it easy and watch out for wound changes. But mm. it, it really worries me. They're so under-supported. Yeah. And this is, this is the big story which we hope to uh, have in print and this is just a draft cover. Wow. I don't know what the final book will look like, but it's called C-Section Recovery Manual, Your Body, Your Recovery. Mm. And we've divided that into three sections. We have 
the information in the beginning. Then we have section for maternal journaling and encouraging women to journal their um, recovery and milestones. And finally, we have day planners for six weeks postpartum. So oh, that that's they can wonderful. Make their progress. The medication, so they get a little medication chart. Everything, everything thought everything. through. That's really fantastic. Yeah. Well, I know that uh, I know that folks listening in will definitely want to, uh, can't wait to see that, of course, in full press. And I know that you'll for sure stay in touch with us here at Gold Midwifery and let us know when that's all available. Now, that's all these things have accumulated to you presenting on this topic, which is absolutely fantastic here. And of course, you'll be joining us here at Gold talking about protecting the cesarean birth wound from surgical wound complications. Now, that's the title of your presentation here at Gold Midwifery. Um, so just very briefly, just tell me, um, what is your hope when folks come to listen to you? What are they going to be learning um, at the, the, the conference here? Well, I hope that they will um, be able to realize the importance importance and um, of, of education of the women because a lot of the complications occur after discharge and sadly some of them lead to sepsis and even death. Right. So if we can go back and um, help women to respect the wound and to look at it even though it, it may be under a fold to use a handheld mirror every day to check it, monitor mm -hmm. it and have it checked if they've got any concerns, if they see any little holes opening or, um, you know, just to be able to really take charge and, right. and act quickly on, mm -hmm. um, because a lot of the social media sites that for caesarean um, support, I see women posting photos of their wounds and asking, is this normal? And we're really failing if these women don't know the answer, if they don't, mm -hmm go home with some understanding of, you know, the normal healing process. So it's about raising the awareness that, uh, you know, there's a high percentage of women do have surgical site infections and between two and 9% of women have surgical wound breakdown, surgical wound dehiscence mm. uh, after birth. So wow. we just need to talk about it because we you know in the hospitals we, we don't see it it's happening in the community and um so yeah to to, to send our women home well informed is my hope and dream and equipped with absolutely I, I think right the way uh, from the beginning when we started talking today, it really is about equipping, um, you know, our families with better tools at the beginning, but right the way through the whole process. Um, and we can only do that as professionals if we're open and willing to look at, you know, uh, like you said, some of the statistics, some of what's happening um, and really be, you know, on top of the research so that we can then provide the information to our clients. Well, I, I'm really looking forward to this presentation. I have to say, Leone, thank you so much for being our expert here uh, at Gold on this particular topic. And we will look forward to seeing you online. Now, I want everybody to go and check out, of course, all the things that are happening at goldmidwifery.com. But of course, you can go and check out Leone's uh, abstract and of course her bio to learn more about her history and where she's coming from as well. Thank you so much, Leone. It's been wonderful having you here today. Thank you, Fiona. And I might just put a plug for my website, which is www.caesarecare.com, spelt C-A-E-S-C-A-R-E. Well, thank you so much. That's wonderful. And well, thank you so much for once again for our audience joining us here today. We'll look forward to having you back here very soon. Bye-bye for now, everyone.